Hello, football fans. Welcome back to Goal Side. Anyone who loves football will admit it with scout's honor that the penalty shootouts are the best part of the game. Whether you're playing in a Sunday league, on a regional level, whether you're Cristiano Ronaldo himself, or you're just having a fun little game with your mates in the alley. The most nerve-wracking and adrenaline-pumping part of the game is the penalty shootouts. Even if you're playing FIFA and you decide to have a penalty shootout with your mate, you'll be there sitting with a straight back telling your mate that you mean business and will do anything in your power to stop him from having a peek at your controller. <laughs> but we'll do anything to get a peek at his controller. Don't deny it, we've all done it. Not only has a huge responsibility been bestowed upon you in a penalty shootout, you could be playing on top of your game and go unnoticed, but you score a goal in the form of a brilliant penalty, and the crowd goes crazy. Only the most versatile and best players are brought in when it's a do-or-die situation. And these players don't crack under pressure. They make their mark in history by scoring penalties, which makes the crowd go wild. Everyone looks forward to the penalties, but there are some rare times that you just want them to be over because they've been going on for so freaking long, and they've become a burden, and they've lost their anxious touch. So today, we look at some of the times when penalty shootouts went way too long, and the spectators and the players got bored that their heart just wasn't in it anymore. Non-league Worcester City were so close to claiming victory, but were ultimately defeated by Scunthorpe in the FA Cup third round back in 2014, after a match that ended 1-1 despite an enormous 54 chances between the two sides. Yes, you heard me correct, 54 chances. It all came down to penalties, while the penalties started as full of energy. After some time when they went on and on, they didn't have that spark in them anymore. Final score, 13 to 14, and Scunthorpe, after this long penalty shootout, emerged victorious. The next penalty shootout would be remembered as long as the Anfield Stadium stands, and we all know that we're going to be talking about it when the name Anfield comes up. Liverpool's epic penalty shootout against Middlesbrough will be remembered by every true fan of the Reds. It was the Capital One Cup back in 2014, and tension had grappled everyone in the stadium. After a long series of penalties, Albert Adoma of Middlesbrough, who missed and sent the Red through, it was one hell of a save by the Liverpool goalkeeper. The final scoreline, 14 to 13. And the next shootout on our list equaled the penalty shootout in terms of the scoreline. Dagenham and Redbridge and Leighton Orient came head-to-head -head for the Football League trophy back in 2011 after a total of 27 converted penalties. Dagenham and Redbridge goalkeeper James Shea saved Ben Chorley's effort and led his team through. It didn't look like a save was going to be made, said Orient manager Russell Slade. It's our number one penalty taker that's missed the opportunity and probably the one you would put your money on. Next on our list is the second longest penalty shootout of the FA Cup. It was back in 2001 when Macclesfield and Forest Green came head to head on a penalty shootout after the final score was tied. The penalty shootout went on steadily as both teams successfully converted their penalties. Ricky Lambert missed his spot kick for Macclesfield. Fortunately for the now Liverpool striker, Forest Green's Kevin Langan missed to give Macclesfield an 11-10 victory. The next penalty shootout was indeed a very long one. Back in 2013, during the Hampshire Senior Cup, when Brockenhurst and Andover came head-to-head, -head, it took 29 successful penalties, which is a total confirmed as an English record for Andover's Claudio Herbert to miss and give Brockenhurst victory. I was excited but nervous, said Herbert. I never thought I'd have to take the 30th penalty in a shootout. I was just thinking, oh no, it's going to be on TV. I'm going to miss a penalty on TV. The next on the list are U21 Young Bucks who made the spectators' time worthwhile. The Holland U21 team met England's U21ers in the European Championship back in 2007. Finishing extra time, just nine fit players after suffering injuries when all three substitutes had been used. England gave one hell of a fight to the Holland A's players, but then Anton Ferdinand then struck the bar with the second effort, and England yet again suffered penalty heartbreak. The final score, 13-12. We saved the best for last, and officially the longest penalty shootout was between KK Palace and the Civics in the 2005 Namibian Cup Final. What a final that must have been. The penalty shootout kept on going, and to top it all off, it was the final, so every penalty was fueled by the same amount of anxiety and nerve-wracking tension. After quite a long time, the KK Palace emerged victorious, and the final scoreline was 17-16. We didn't think it was a record, but I am very proud. Titus Kunamwini, head of the competitions at the Namibian Football Association, said, But really, at the end of the game, everybody was more relieved than anything else.